Good evening everyone and welcome back to my live stream. Yay! I'm so excited for tonight because we will be playing a new game called Jackbox and I hope that you are also excited. But before anything else, before we go and and you know do the game, first is we will have two lessons tonight one is introduction to geometry and the other one will be hydrosphere hi let's just wait for a while all right so we start off with mats so introduction to geometry we have the basic okay just the basic part of um, geometry which is what are points what are plane what are lines and so on and so forth so it will be more on what can we do with uh, the different um, different figures or geometric uh, figures that we have okay so we start off with um, the basic geometric figures we have here a point when we say point that is a location in space okay uh, it represent it can be represented by a dot and a capital letter so any of the point like point m or point q so any of those is always represented by a dot and a capital letter now if we say points they have no dimension no size only position okay so let's say this is point m or point q so yes the other one is line so when we talked about line it's connected series of points so that is extended in both directions so it is without an end so there is no end for a line so that means that if you have a line then it can be represented by arrows that means it is uh, on towards both directions so let's say for example i hope that you are able to hear me do send me a thumbs up if you are able to hear me or please do it, uh, tell me if you cannot hear anything from me i'm trying to because we're uh, we're playing later so i need the a video uh, i mean audio to be clear so yeah just do send me a thumbs up if you cannot hear me okay so a line is represented by an arrow it is without an end so it is on both directions so this can be a line so let's say this is line L or this could be a line okay so any direction it would be as long as it is without an end so lines can be named by any two points so for example if for this case or it can be just one uh, lowercase letter like what I have I am doing here I named it line L so you could also have let's say for example you can have point A here and point B that means this is line AB so when we write this down in terms of written answer this will be you write AB okay and then you put the arrow exactly the same arrow on top so that means that it is a line AB okay so again if you have a line then you can either represent it by a point um, sorry a lowercase letter not a point or two a capital letter that is a point somewhere on your line and that would be your uh, name of your line so when you name it it will be a b and then there will be a line on top of it okay so next one we have what we call a plane so again a point is just represented by a dot okay and then it's named by capital letters 
Now, plane is infinite set of points forming a flat surface extended in all direction. So, normally, it's represented by a four-sided figure, okay? It's normally that case. So, if you have this, for example, and I'll put a capital letter R, that means this is a plain R, okay? So, it's always um, um, represented or normally it's represented by four-sided figure. Okay, next one is our segment. Segment, even if you watch anything from the TV, when we say segment, it's just a portion, right? So, the first segment will be today, the next segment will be tomorrow. So, it's portion by portion. So, the same thing with our basic geometric figures. When we talked about segment, that means it's only a part or a portion of a line. It is bounded by two endpoints. That means there is an end because it's just a portion. So, how do we represent segment? Hi, Maha Blanca. Good evening. So, let's say, for example, we have um, C and then I hope that you can still see D. Let me just move it a bit. Okay. So, you have C and then D. That means a segment is a part of a line bounded by two endpoints. So if you would notice, there is a point, an endpoint on C and D. So if a line is represented by two arrows, let's say A and B, when you write this down, that's AB with an arrow on top. Hi, Kaini. Hi, Ambry. So segment, when you write this, it will be CD, and then you just, what's up, Korea? <laughs> and if it's a CD, that means it's just uh, a line on top without an arrow. So that means that's a segment. All right. So again, a point is just uh, represented by... A dot it's non dimension uh, there's no dimension for your point and your line is uh, infinite in terms of uh, point it is of both directions plane is a four-sided figure it has infinite as well points and then segment it has an end point on both ends okay uh, the next one we have array all right, so a ray, when we say ray, it's part of a line that starts at a certain end point and it continues forever in one end. So if you have a ray, that means, let's say, for example, I have a B and then I will draw an arrow on one side and put, let's say, D, that means it is ray BD. So wherever it starts or the end point of it, that is your, uh, how you would write it. Okay, I hope it's clear. The next set of geometric figures, we have intersecting line from the word intersecting, intersection, meaning we are trying to find the common point that is being shared or a point that is being shared by two crossing figures. So if you have, let's say, line L, hi Tukushima, and then line, let's say, AB on one side, this is an intersecting line. Now, where both lines intersect is what we call our intersecting point. Okay, that's the intersection. All right, so that is intersecting line. 
Now the next one, we have done plane, we have done ray, and so we have parallel lines. So when we say parallel lines, that means these are lines that is not intersecting or it will never meet, okay? So two different lines that will never intersect no matter how far they are extended. So that is what we call by parallel lines. So it is on the same plane, but it is never intersecting. So if you have a line and another line, that means that is a parallel line. Okay? Now we have what we call perpendicular line. Uh, perpendicular lines are lines that has a common intersection point but however the difference between intersecting lines and perpendicular lines is that a perpendicular line always forms 90 degrees okay so if let's say i'll draw it can you hear me clearly Please send me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, so intersecting line does not need to be 90 degrees. However, perpendicular lines are always forming 90 degrees on their intersection. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Hi, Punini. Good evening. And then of course we have done segment so let's try to identify if we have like a box okay so if we have a box let's say this is a b c d on top and then the other side you cannot hear it you cannot hear you cannot see it but this will be e on the other side okay so the that would look like this if I'll draw it okay so this is E on the other side it forms a square or a rectangular base so this side is an E so A B C D and E F G H so if you are asked to find four segments that intersect A C so if you have AC here, the segments that intersects AC, you have DA, AB. So if you extend that, that actually intersects AC, okay? If you are asked, um, let's say, for example, parallel to BF. So if it is BF, then it will be CG, parallel. So on same plane, but they are parallel. Okay, let's try more examples for our different geometric figures, the naming of this. So if you have this MN, okay, you are asked to identify and name the lines and rays uh, or segment. So if you would notice MN has an arrow on the end side on the other side and there is no arrow on the other side okay so if it is with an end point and it is being extended uh, beyond or in an in infinite extended part of your um, this figure that means this is a ray so when you name it, you start with the end point and then where the ray is going. So when you name, it will be MN and then you put a ray on top. Okay, so wherever it starts and wherever it's being extended, that will be your name. So ray and then you have your MN. The next one, if you would notice, Q has a point and P has a point. Therefore, since it has an end point, that means this is a line segment. 
okay? It's a line segment. So how do we name it? We name it as QP with a line on, I mean, a segment on top and or R, is that an R? Oh no, it's a P. P, Q, all right? P, Q, and then a segment on top. Okay, now the next one, if you would notice, there are two arrows. So arrows on both ends. So that will be R, S, and then you have two arrows, or S, R, and then you have two arrows on, on top. This is our line. Okay, so I hope that um, you are able to understand. All right, let's try. Can you name and identify the following? Do type your answer on the chat box, on the comment. Is this a ray, a line, or a segment? F, G. Yay. Anyone? It is a ray. That's correct, Ambry. Yes. <laughs> the spelling. <laughs> okay. So it is indeed a ray. Yes. It is a ray. And then you have, when you name it, it, it the endpoint is on G and it's extended on F. So that is how you name it. Ray G F. Okay, how about the second one? All right. Is it a ray, a line, or a segment? H, J. Is it a ray, a line, or a segment? Yes, it is a line. So how would we know if it's a line when you see two arrows on both ends? That means it is being extended onto the end on both directions. So if you name this, you can name it as HJ with two arrows yes it is a line ambry or j h and then two arrows on top okay how about the last one is it a segment a ray or a line come on we can do this The last one is a segment, okay? So the, I, I do not know if, okay. So the last one is a segment. So when you name it, it will be segment KL. Yes, that's correct, Ambry or LK, okay? So it, um, I think the only th one that has a specific direction is the ray. So GF, meaning where it is um, the end point as to where it's being extended. Yay! Yes, Mrs. Wesley, you are correct. All right, so let's try to answer. What name or give me two rays on this uh, diagram. 
at least two rays that you can see okay rays that you can see on this diagram just name two yay yes while you are thinking of naming two rays for this diagram uh, tonight we will be playing some mystery murder game from Jackbox. Name to race. Okay, I think everyone is thinking. So if we have race here, HL, yes, HL is a ray and GK is a ray as well. That's correct. Okay. If you are asked to name two segments, what would be your answer? Now, this time you give me at least two segments. Two segments. Please do take note if it is a ray, it has an endpoint and an extended line on, on one direction, okay? Not the band, <laughs> just one, uh, one side or one uh, direction of your line. That is your ray. But if for, for segments, it is both are endpoints, meaning there is a point on both ends. So just to give you um, an example, GJ is a segment and GH is also a segment, okay? Where you have two points. All right. Okay. So that ends our introduction to geometry. So we have covered what are points, what are rays, what is a ray? Hi, shouty, a little baddy. A segment, and you also have plane. And we have discussed as well what is a line, an intersecting line, a parallel line. What's the difference between, yes, that is correct, Mrs. Weasley, HJ. Uh, we have discussed as well what are intersecting line, what are parallel lines, and what are perpendicular lines. So those are the basic or the introductory of geometry. If you are able to identify what are points, what are rays, what are segments in a plane, what are vertices, what are intersection lines, parallel and perpendicular lines, then you would be able to understand the rest of geometry when you are given different shapes okay so now let's proceed to science yay so last week we talked about our atmosphere our atmosphere covers the air right the element air now this time we will be discussing or talking about hydrosphere from the word hydro meaning water so we will be talking about the structure of our hydrosphere what are the different bodies of water so when we talked about hydrosphere hydrosphere of the earth uh, consists of the earth's water resources such as oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, groundwater, and glaciers. So in our earth, uh, we are also called the blue planet because we look blue because three-fourths of our planet is water. That's why we're called blue planet. 97% or to be exact 97.5% of our water on earth is salt water meaning it is from the oceans 
and 2.5 percent only is fresh water so that means that whatever water that we can find um, apart from ocean that is fresh and not salty is only 3% or 2.5%. Okay, so that is our uh, structure. What, uh, where can we find our water? Now, basically, when we say the 2.5 or 3% of our fresh water, it's distributed to this number accordingly. So ice is 2.3 out of the fresh water distribution. Our ground water is 0.4. Our surface fresh water is 0.05. And atmosphere and soil water is 0.05. So basically, most of our fresh water is trapped in ice. So what are these bodies of water that are trapped in ice? Like, for example, there are glaciers or ice caps. So it's mostly trapped in ice. So bodies of water that holds the largest is our ocean, and the rest is only 3% or 2.5%, which is fresh water. So the other, uh, as, apart from glaciers, we also have icebergs. These are temporary or these are where our fresh waters are being trapped okay so what bodies of water uh, holds the largest is our ocean and what features our house water as ice as mentioned we have icebergs and glaciers Okay, so these are where we find our fresh water that are being housed by ice. Now, for um, largest amount, it will be with our oceans. Okay. So, fresh water locations. So, we have different uh, locations. The difference between, we have river basin and watersheds. So the difference between river basin and watershed is that both terms actually describes the drains into rivers or streams or lakes. The only difference is that river basin is the term used to describe an area that drains large rivers. That's river basin. So if you are familiar with a basin, that is literally what it is, okay? So the large area of your large river, that is your river basin. While watershed is only an area that drains smaller rivers or smaller streams, okay? That's the difference between the two. So when we say large river basins, these are made up of interconnected watershed. So smaller, smaller side, and then it becomes bigger and bigger into the lake or into a bigger river. Then that is um, watersheds and then river basins. Okay, so fresh water locations. One is we have our rivers, streams, and lakes. So when we say river, this is a large channel along which your water is continually flowing so the key word here is continually flowing okay it's made up of many streams that come together that is a river now a stream is a small channel along which uh, water is continually flowing as well it is down the slope made of small uh, gullies so it's that is a stream so I think you have been to a stream, so it's a small part of the river. So that's where water are continually flowing. Okay? And then we have lake. So if river is a channel that is continually flowing in a large channel, and a stream is 
um, a small channel wherein water is continually flowing as well. A lake is a body of water of considerable size contained on a body of land. So that's the difference. Okay. Yay. So another one. We have groundwater and aquifers. So if we say groundwater from the word ground, meaning underground, the water found in cracks, pores in sand, gravels, rocks, anything below the earth's surface, those are groundwater. Aquifers, these are porous rock layers. It's on a layer that underground uh, layer underground that is a reservoir for water so that's the difference between the two okay so groundwater that is under while aquifers would be on the porous rock layers yay wow we finish both maths and science any question with hydrosphere there's actually more uh, discussion with hydrosphere, but those are like what are um, bodies of water that we can actually get or how is erosion happening and stuff like that, irrigations and so on. All right, yay. So are we ready to play? <laughs> if there's no question we will just wait for questions okay so if there's no question let's move on to our game Can you hear? We will be doing a trivia murder party. We will party. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this, let me just, let me just try. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Yay. So this game, um, it's called Trivia Murder Party. So uh, this will be... Okay, so what you need to do is join or type in your, um, uh, what is this? <laughs> Web browser, Jack, Jackbox TV. This is also my first time to play this game in live stream. So most of the questions here is um, trivia because of the name trivia, <laughs> trivia murder. Uh, you have to type Jackbox TV. Join in at Jackbox TV. Punini. We have Punini in the house. And the room code for you to join will be LXHX. Okay, let's just wait for a while for the rest. I don't hear the sound. 
who else is joining? Okay, teacher, teacher is here. So are we good? Anyone joining? There's four of us. We good to start? Shawty. Shawty a little bad. Baddy. Okay. Can we start now? Can I turn can I start the game? Okay, so since all of us are newbies to <laughs> this game, so let's just play along. Okay, let's start. So we have Punini. Okay, all right. We'll wait. We'll wait for you, Mrs. Weasley. Okay. Korea is here. What happened to our sound? There's no more. Can you hear this? Uh, the sound from from the game itself. No, right? Hopefully, you will be able to hear it. Can we start, Mrs. Weasley? Mrs. Weasley. We need one more. I think one more and then we can start. Okay. Mrs. Weasley, I'm waiting for you. You can send me a thumbs up if we are ready. Oh, okay. I'll I'll start the game and tell me if you can hear it. Okay. All right. Let's start. Mrs. Weasley, no more. Okay. Can you hear the sound? Please do tell me if you can hear the sound. Send me a thumbs up if you can hear the sound. Oh, this is scary. Wake up. Please do send Come me a on, thumbs up if up. you can hear the sound. Welcome to Yay. Trivia Night, an endless onslaught of devious torment. But it's really got a lot of heart, and honestly, fine, let's just skip it then. See if I care. There's a bit of a delay because okay, I'm streaming. Okay, first question. So, just yeah. to make sure I'm question sending my fan one. art to the right place. What is Taylor Swift's Twitter handle? Use your device to answer the question. I seriously don't know Taylor Swift. Yeah, you have to and send the in your, is, and then we need right. to vote. Okay, so the one that uh, I have a surprise for you. answered wrongly will be taken to the killing room. Yes, killing more. floor. Yay! So. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice, chalice to put your poison in. So we need to pick our chalice to put your poison. 
Hmm. This is nice, Chalice. Just choose any I'm of the chalice. I'm not exactly known for my patience. Let's go. Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have oh, to add a few you of my own. Why you didn't You vote. know, these poison pellets aren't cheap, so if you don't use them, it's like really wasteful. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. These Pick. chalices are all pretty sweet. Pick a chalice to drink from. There's mm. one of us that will be asked Hope it to... tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. Ooh. Aww, no one drank any poison. No one well, drank poison. don't I poison. have egg on my face? I feel like a grade A goofball. <laughs> Here's everybody's scores. It's a good way to okay, compare so yourself to others and score? maybe start to feel bad about yourself. Though you are a ghost already, like ABC, How about DF, this? you can still join. Preferably, which dish, like revenge, is best served cold? Seriously, don't know what is best to be served cold. Okay. Time's running out. Who said this one? <laughs> I don't know even what's gazpacho. Prepare for your punishment. So whoever knows what's gazpacho, you should Welcome back to leave the killing floor. So who's on the killing floor? It's time to express yourself. Now okay. keep in mind, the three I of don't you know art, needs to but I know draw. it sends me into a homicidal okay. rage. So draw on and parted. Malice. So draw malice. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. The best drawing. So once you have drawn, then there will be a voting. Wow, that's hard. I do not even know how to draw malice. Stop pretending you're drawing something good. Just hit send. No drawing? That's not acceptable. Oh, someone did Your silence draw. speaks volumes. Here's how all the scores are looking. Let's try another one. Yeah, even if you're a ghost, me you is would what be type able of to... Me is cuisine. Uh... Hmm. Ban me. It, it sounds like noodles. <laughs> me. <laughs> Time's running out. And the correct answer is this. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Oh no! You're in luck! There's a big pile of cash in here. Here's how this is going to work. If no yeah. one takes the money, no one dies. Mm -hmm. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Oh no! Huddle up and talk about your strategy, ding -a -lings. Okay. So if no one takes the money, no one dies. If you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who did it. Oh, this is very tricky. If you all take what the are you gonna money, do? then Make a you choice. all die. Ah, oh, let's see who gets screwed. Wow, Man, you're gonna have to live with what you took. You, but you took you the money. Get to live. Aww, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Everyone died. <laughs> Someone took the money. There's no hard way to say money. it. I killed you and now you're a ghost. But don't worry. Ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. 
You haven't lost or anything. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Uh, okay. Someday. No. Why? Down to just one player, but um, it's a little early Me to too. just go to the final round. I mean, seriously, Me you just started. If you can survive <laughs> two more questions, everyone goes to the final round. You took the money. I've got more questions for you. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Mm, this is Smats. <laughs> this is Smats. But I don't know the answer. <laughs> Alright, three now. Ambry, I don't have braces. This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Oh. Let's play a game. Three. You plus math equals fun. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All if you right, can't get at least 15 Michu. right, All the best, die. Michu. Let's kick some math. Let's answer some math questions. Come on, you can do it, Michu. How do you feel like you're doing? Fifteen Matt's question. Oh, this is fun. You're learning while playing. Your time is subtracting at an alarming rate. Uh oh. Michu, you didn't answer. <laughs> terrible tragedy. I wouldn't oh. go down to that old shipwrecked luxury liner if I were you. They say terrible things happen there. Some kind of comedy so game the show. Highest? Not Me my too. type of humor. Six people died. You hate to hear about a thing like that. Of but death. I'm telling you anyway. Horrible. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to leave for a concert. No. It's the boys' two men reunion tour. They'll all be there. Sean, Nathan, Wanye. Should be oh, a good one. This is nice game. Is it creepy, Shorty? Oh, hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. So, yeah. Let's go back to the leader's board. So, the highest is Michu, followed by Punini, and myself, and then Bad Shorty, I'm Korean, and SP. F G H I J K L. Alright. Do you still want to play? Uh, do you get the game now? We can play one more game. Alright. Though it's dark, I can kind of see. Yay. Okay. Anyone who wants to play? Still last game. Okay. Okay, let's try to play another game called Faking It. I hope it's a nice game. I haven't played it though. Okay. Let's try faking it. So everyone gives an answer, but not everyone knows the question. One of your friends has something to hide. Find the fakers before it's too late. Okay, let's play faking it. Let's see the settings. Let's do a family friendly. Okay. Last game for the night. Okay, so this same party but different code 
So O N S Z. Come on. Punini. Let's try this game. I haven't played this, but I hope it's nice. Can we start? Please send me a thumbs up if we can start the game. Who's missing? Braces. <laughs> I don't have braces, Ambry. Okay, let's start. All right, let's start. Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and I am certified in CPR, in case that opportunity presents itself. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, skipping is an option. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get <laughs> Raise your hand if you've ever the farted. Faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device I who think they it's think the faker the is. If everyone picks the correct video. person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny. Oh, I think this is nice to, to play if we really see each other. Some of the other. tasks will involve raising your hand or oh. pointing or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a fake. Let's start by picking a category. Use your device okay. to pick which type of task you'll all do together. Oh no, Shorty. We'll just do this one. It's going to be. You got a point. All Everyone's right. going to get a you task a that involves pointing at another player in the game. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. Oh. Oh, we need to. Yeah, I think this. And the task was point to the person who would die first in a horror film. Vote for the faker now. You can change but your I vote don't if you know. change your mind, <laughs> by the way. Oh no! So many voted Maha. <laughs> yeah, I think Maha would die <laughs> first in a horror film. <coughs> I think next time if we play this game, we will do it through Zoom. The faker can only be caught if the vote is unanimous. So do your best to come to a group consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Sending out your second you got a point oh task no. to your devices now. Hardest to make angry. So someone is very hard to make to let them be angry hmm who could be this hardest the task. to make point angry. at the person you suspect is hardest to make angry vote for who you think is probably the faker I 
I like the sound though. But it's hard to play when we don't see each other. Who's the faker? Not enough teamwork to find the faker. This is your last chance to catch the faker. Who's the faker? Sending out your third you got a point task now. Hmm. Who's the faker? I know this question. The task was, point at the person born closest to 1989. Mm -hmm. Alright, vote for who you think the faker is. Punini, 1989. Yay, Punini. <laughs> oh. You know how you should all rally together in the final moments to work together that and find a faker? That means that we you have do that. to vote exactly one person. Oh, the faker is Punini. Aww. <laughs> Oh no, we didn't know. I think next. And uh, what will our next task category be? Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. Okay, la. Should we? I guess I have to do everything around here. Face value. <laughs> Everyone's going to get a task that involves making some kind of facial the expression. The faker Mahablanka is Okay, Sunini. sending the task to your devices now. Okay. Yeah, I think this this uh, game is best played if we see each other. So next time, I have a task. Make I'll you're be holding in a fart face. Inviting you to a Zoom so that you Over can who you join me. Is the the faker. Talking is allowed and encouraged. It'll help you find that faker. Fart face. Come on! <laughs> Do I have a fart face? <laughs> and everyone voted for... You all got together and chose the wrong person. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending out your it's second not face me. value task to your devices now. Okay. So this one is you have to Make a face. And the task was make a face you'd have while in a voting booth. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. 
I think it's Maha. I think it's Maha. It is Maha. Wow. One voted for braces. And the votes were for... Uh. Yep, you found a faker. <laughs> Now I know, um, it's, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's category picking time. Use your device to pick which type of task you'll all do together. I think it's, uh, Maha Blanca, I think it's random. If you will pick a category, I will. It depends on what is got a point. coming out Everyone's in going your to get a task device. that involves pointing at another <coughs> player in the game. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. So, we have... Yeah, we have to point like the person who most likely to own a leather pants so it ba it is basically based on what is coming point out point your finger at the person most so likely to own leather pants someone will be given a secret task vote for the faker now don't forget you get points for voting for the faker even if everyone else is wrong so whoever get that secret task will be the faker. I think so. All the votes went to... You all caught the faker. Yay! So if we vote exactly the same person, then that person is the faker. All right, what category it? do we want to do next? Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. Hands of Truth. Everyone's going to get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. Raise your hand. <laughs> So, someone will, uh, you will be sent with a task if you are the one that should be faking it. This was the task. Raise your hand if you believe in ghosts. Yes. Alright, vote for who you think the Who's faker the is. the faker? So if the voting agree, is so you spread find the out, faker. You that means two more that to we'll catch not that be faker. able to find the faker. Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now. Okay. Task was raise your hand if you regularly get seven or more hours of sleep. I know who sleeps.
seven or more hours. Vote for who you think is probably the faker. Uh, I know who sleeps seven or more hours. Oh, there's an audience vote. <clears throat> I know who sleeps seven or more hours. <laughs> Come on! Oh, you didn't get it! You didn't find the faker, and you didn't really learn anything definitive. Yes. Last chance to catch the faker. Alright! Sending out your third hands of truth task now. Yes, it's my daughter. If you're a millennial... Oh. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying the hands of truth secret task. It's Blanche. She sleeps more than Raise seven. Raise your hand if you're a millennial. So who's the millennial Go in this you group? Who is the faker? Wow, even on the last task, you couldn't vote together to find the faker. Yeah, it's almost like you gave up. Yes, basically we gave up. Oh, it's braces. You didn't know that you are the faker, braces. Raise my hands. Last round. Okay, it's time for the last round. End. Okay. Text you up. Mm -hmm. I've sent three questions to each of your devices. Type in your answers for all three and then hit send. Now the faker has three questions to answer too. They just have slightly different questions than everyone else. So good luck, faker. Someone will be assigned as the faker, so we have to find that faker. And the person who get most of the votes will get points. Send now, or you might lose your answers. <clears throat> Time's up. Let's see everyone's answers to the first text task. Your favorite crayon color. Go for who you think seems like the faker. <laughs> I 
I think Gray says is the faker. Because her answer is no answer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, we have one audience vote. Uh oh. You couldn't quite figure out who the faker was. Mm -mm. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Okay. Let's see your next set of answers. A TV network you would prefer to not pay for. Vote for who you think the faker is. Okay. <coughs> wow. Who's the faker? If we will not be able to point out the faker, the faker will. Come on! That faker is still on the loose. Who One is last this chance faker? to catch the faker. Let's okay. take a look at the last set of text answers. An embarrassing thing to be doing when you die. Vote for the faker now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you should know who the faker is. You didn't? Get the faker. You couldn't even bother to try to pick the same person on the final task, huh? You pretty much just let the faker have it. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. That was me. <laughs> So now you know how to 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 do the game. Okay, next next week, next week's live stream, then we will do this game once again. Punini! Congratulations Punini for winning. Congratulations. Wow. And the faking it fun continues. Let's do this. Oh, let's do Let's it? start by picking a category. Use your device to okay, pick which type let's, of category. Let's just stop it. All right. Last mom. <laughs> you still want to play? Next, next week, Maha Blanca. Let's play next week. Wow, that was fun. Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy. <laughs> but it's so hard to determine who the faker is. It's really hard. Like, um... <laughs> so the... the, the I think... I'm, I'm not so sure, but I think the rule of the game is... Uh, someone will be assigned as a faker and the way that the faker answers would be like the possible probably I don't know yay it's nice yeah all right so next week we'll again jo um, play uh, what is the other game trivia murder something and 
fake it. But next time, it will be fun if you could join me. I'll try to set up a Zoom link, okay, so that I can see all of your faces. <laughs> but, uh, oh, okay, let's play the faker game next week. Or probably I'll put you on Discord or uh, audio where you will be on call so that uh, I can hear you from the live stream. It will be fun if we will be arguing each other who the faker is. All right, so that ends our live stream tonight. Yay! Thank you very much. We will play Fake It next week. Yes, it will be fun. Let's play Fake It next week once again. Yeah, so this is the game that most of you would wish to play. And those that are in audience as well, you can actually vote in. So, yay! So that ends our live stream for tonight. I'll see you next week. And I hope that you have learned something and not just learned something, but as well as enjoy our game tonight. Yes, we have a new game to play. What's up, Korea? Thank you. So next week, we will be again playing Jackbox. And we, I think you're all on holiday, right? Is, is Philippines school on holiday good night bye shouty thank you for joining yeah please do leave a comment if you are on a holiday then we can do more of the games um, uh, and then i will limit the different topics as a released video all right almost almost okay not yet what's up okay no worries so we will cover lessons on the first part and then we will play more of the games next week all right so we will prioritize your lessons for the week in our live stream because this is the main purpose of our live stream to help you out okay and then of course it's not just serious things and studies but we will also be playing thank you everyone god bless you and as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest. Learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next week. Bye, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you for joining. Bye. God bless. Thank you, Shouty, for playing. Thank you, Maha, for playing. Thank you, What's Up, for playing. Uh, thank you, Ambry, for playing, for joining us. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you.